in working with exponential models, the doubling time is often a matter of interest. So for example, in the money problem, we may want to know how long it will take for the money to double. Or for the population problem, we might like to know how long it will take for the population to double. In order to find these doubling times, we need to be able to extract the exponent in the exponential equation. And this is done by using a mathematical function known as the logarithm. Okay, so I want to tell you about that now. Basically, the logarithm of a number is just the exponent when that number is expressed as a power of 10. So, for example, the logarithm of 1 million is the same as the logarithm of 10 raised to the 6th power. And so there we see that the exponent is 6. And so the answer is 6. Okay, this idea also works in case our exponents are negative, that is if we have numbers less than 1, for example logarithm of 0 0.0001, same as log 10 to the negative 4, and so the answer is negative 4. So this works fine if you have whole powers of 10 involved, but we may need to find the logarithm of a number which is not a whole power of 10. And in that case, we use our calculator. Okay, so I'll call your attention again on my little Casio here. Uh, your calculator, if you don't have this same brand, will have a similar button on it and I'm going to call your attention to that button right here where it says LOG. That will allow you to find the logarithm of a number. So for example, we want to find the logarithm of 2. Okay, so I'm just going to go log Two, and then press equals, and that will bring up the decimal fraction point, approximately point three zero one. Okay, so log two is approximately point three zero one. Now. Remember that in order to uh, find the doubling time, uh, we will need to extract the exponent from the um, equation. And in order to do this, we need to use the exponent property of logarithms, which basically says that if you take the logarithm of a power, y to the x power, that you can bring that exponent out front and the answer is the same. Okay, so that, that exponent has now come out as a factor in front of the logarithm. So for example, if I have to solve 5 is equal to 3 to the x power. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to start by taking the logarithm of both sides of the equation. I have log 5 is equal to log 3 to the x power. And then use the exponent property of logarithms on the right hand side. That'll give me log 5 is equal to x times log 3. Now, of course, log 5 and log 3 are just numbers. I can find those on my calculator. And so, therefore, I can solve for x. 
as just log 5 divided by log 3. Okay, and that's written out here in the notes. And the answer turns out to be about 1.46.